Hello YouTube, this is Vacuum Man 8 today, just went down to B&M and this was on the shopping list for probably either end of this year or next year. As you know, Cole likes vacuums, but he does also like uh, guarding machinery. So um, he's currently used a Flymo Compact 330 standard model without the, 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 the view. But this was the one that he. It did have a little view bit on the back. Yeah, it did. Yeah. But the thing is now, this was like the next grade. He's been using it two years in the garden. He's maintained my garden for me. Done a really good job. And he originally wanted the one with the, the larger one with the edge cutting, but that one's been discontinued, and they've made the Flymo glider compact because the other one was a glider. Very similar. It's the difference. The main difference between this yeah. and the, and the normal uh, Flymo is the way you adjust the blade on it. Like like a lot of the manufacturers, like and the Bosch got wheels, though cut, cuts pretty close to the edge. That's right. You um, ha instead of using the spacers with a blade, because sometimes you want to higher and lower it. Like obviously, and, and it's got it's got four settings too. And you got four settings on this one. Apparently, I always find personally the Flymos don't always drop that. Um, no. Low to the ground, and the advantage with the spacer one is, if you want it really close to the ground, you can just add a spacer to it, even though it says not to do it, and you can get it really close to the ground. Because the old no, ones, no, the the all the other all the all the, all the ones you put spacer on only come on three. This is come. This has got four levels. Right. So get this one tidy. open. I just have to get all the tape because finally I'll pack these things with tape. Stop them breaking or open them. I think like your hover mower is generally like a UK or European type st yeah. style. Um, but you still you can kind of see on the USA. Carl say like why why don't they ever do a cordless fly mower? They do one with an engine on it. So this one is is a lot different to a, a normal fly mower because you actually There's got a part. Oh yeah. Because you actually got to, um, you actually got to build, it's, build this one. Two oh yeah. But not got that model on there. So it says there, look, extend your guarantee for two years for free. So you just got to go on and register that. Um, I'd recommend. The shop you mind, you have to go and build the graph box, and it shows you the way you properly cut on this one too. Right. So, so let's get this one out then. So yeah, so normally when you buy the other fly mows, they come in and all you've got to do is stick the grass box on the back and you're ready to go. This one, you do have to build, obviously to do with the, the, the size. Um, fly mow wants a reduced you packaging. There's stuff on that too. Oh, that? Yeah, let me just vacuum out. Probably stuff off the suction then. Yeah, it's much... Mm. Ready? Moving that one over there. This is on, that means you... Um, the other thing we like about this one there... Take the pull of these clips. Oh yeah. Is the fact is, you can actually store the cable on the side of the machine. So we'll... Uh, Let's see what the shoes are instruction So what we'll do, we'll stop the video and we'll start getting all this plastic off it. But this one comes fairly... Um, assembled we have seen videos where yeah. you have to literally snap the handles in and all this business yeah it's easy to put them in. so they have sort of improved the packaging on this one since um yeah. and that's why it's worth doing a video on it because it would maybe put somebody off saying oh i've got to put this together See, and I'm that gonna... moves too tell them what setting it's on you've got the lowest let's have a look so let's get this built then Take off that. Oh, it's just on pot of these on. Right, okay. Right, you know, build the grass box first then. Just on looking at the shot, you man, what way it goes for. Right. I'll do this. Yeah, you know, we'll put this on the back look first. Yeah, I think that's the show on the back. And then we snap that in. I'll snap that in. Yeah. You don't want to be too rough with this one because um, I have read reviews where people say that it's brittle and all this lot. So, what you want to do is you want to line this in into the pins and press this one in gently like that. 
And then it's in. I think Dyson plastic's a bit flexible. So it's got to be a bit flexible. Um, the next bit. So what you want to do now is gently snap these in like that, gently. And then we sort of just lay that, yeah. that in like that. And that goes like that. So compare with um, some of the videos that I've seen with this one, they've definitely improved this one. Um, I would say it's this is... That's not used to come. Yeah. I would say this bit here seems a bit like weak, but as long as you're careful and you look no, after well, I've it. Seen this, I've seen people do this. Yeah, but well, you don't do that. Could you can do that? Could actually use the other model. Yeah, so what you, you do, you flip it up like that and lift it out. Um, don't throw it in the back of your shed. Because if you throw anything, anything still, these days, you're gonna, it's gonna still break. Have to go and do something. So now we've got to sort the handle out now. Do you see how I'm doing that? I don't have it in the shots, but you have to look on the. Right. So this the handle. We'll get this handle built. So what you want to do? There's a washer. Yeah. There's a, a screw with a square on it. There's a washer. And then there's another washer and then it's a spindle and that one is exactly the same where you've got a square that holds it in place a washer a washer what you want to do you want to get them in like that loosely and then snap them in like that and then tighten them up like that no because it's fine it's got a square in it but they go over junior isn't it yeah it's better go over junior so these just do it like that it's not in the hole, that one. It? No, it's not in the little hole. Move, isn't it? Yes, move. Hold on. There we are. There we go. You Hold want, your hands. You want that up. Because that one's down, you want that one up. Yeah. And obviously, you know, that'd be enough. There. Yeah. And then if you want to do the cable, you loosen it like that. And then, the the tight, and then it comes off and then tighten it back up like that. For this so. one, make sure it's snapped in like that. And keep them do it up. The other feature that these have, you the cold demonstrates, I think which is a good feature. The way the, the hand. Button there. Oh, yeah. For I think the same shop you say. So, yeah, do that again the then. Button. I've got a button there now. What you're pushing for me. Like that. And then ah. Ah, much dishner. So it's better. So that bit there is a vast improvement on the other one. But you have to How it folds down. It. It's going to take a little bit more room than the other one. But you have to still put some stuff on. Because the other one finishes up to here. Uh, this one's got like a few extra bits that helps. This this idea here they got from like the Bosch um, road track where it, when you go to the edge of the, 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 the grass, it sucks it in. It pushes the grass in. So it's almost like a, a comb and combs uh, combs the actual grass away from the wall or away from your fence and chops it up. And chops it up. So this one has a 1700 watt motor and what I would say is people say, oh, it's burnt out. Well, one thing never to do is cut. Oh, oh yeah. It's to cut. Never cut your lawn when it's raining. The other thing to do, if the grass is soaking wet, Electric in the water doesn't mix, so it is, it, the water, the damp grass, is going to go into the motor because it's got a fan on it and sucks it in. Because what this bit here works like a vacuum cleaner a little bit. How this here sucks sucks all the um, the grass in, and quite often, well, you'll use we'll string the edges of it and we'll suck it. Where you clip the clips on, one goes there, one goes there, and one goes about there. So it's got like a bit of a kink. And then when you, like you say, you just push this side bit in and then it snaps it right in like that. And that's it moves a bit. And yeah, that's the best time. So now we can... Pop it where it... So they have come off. Well, obviously it's the first time I used it. Oh. So that's, that's got to go in there as well. So that's it really. And then you have to pull this up tight. So this bit it's here unclipped. doesn't seem to be very good, <laughs> but it is this part. Yeah, yeah it, went, it went about that way. No, did it? Mm. That's the way it's on now. Let's try it again then. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 
So I would say that the only thing I would say that's a bit annoying with this one is when you fold the thing down, these things unclip. So the vast amount of people, these are probably going to get missing in your garden. So I'll say that's the only gripe with the thing. Um, I mean, it's fine when it snaps back up again, and then it's, and then you have to pull these back up, and then clip this and in, in like, like that. <laughs> and then what you want to do then is before you, you undo it, you snap it back down, right. and then if Cole, push, push, push snaps it down, it in like that gently, and then pops the cable. And yeah, and it's fine. And one comes off. Because it's just, it just seems to be like not really long enough. It's either too long or too short. So they haven't really designed this bit. Not that good. That good. But at the end of the day, it's not important these, these clips here. Yeah, we'll use our own too. So yeah, so I think they'll have to look at this here. Yeah. Yeah, so apart from that, it's, it's lovely. We do like about this mower. They've had cable rewinds built in the top. They've had ones, the best ones they ever did are the ones where you could unplug them. But the problem when you used to unplug them, you used to mislay the cable. Or you people used to cut them up and use them on other appliances. Because quite often... And some people to, keep them in the grass box. We used to keep ours in the grass box. Um, but obviously the grass box never used to shut down. But this, to me, is the best way to do it. of keeping a cable organised on your mower. The ones I've noticed when you've got the little cable No, I think this, this here is the best way. Yeah. You have to dust that off. That, that far is the best way on a mower to add the cable on the side. I think, I think the old Black & Decker... What? Um, I don't think... I can't, I can't remember. They were almost like a vacuum, but it was a mower, and they used to have the cable on the actual handle. What like a vacuum? It was like one on, on a stick pole. Yeah, I've seen that. And it used to have a cable, oh, cable that. like that on the side. So that's a, it is a very tidy and then you way. Make a little finger pole and wrap it around that's and pull right. it up. It is a very tidy way of storing a cable, and I think it's a vast improvement on the more basic mm -hmm. models. But if you can pick one up, if you're in the uh, market for getting a mower, get this one. I would go and, and I'd go for this one really for eighty pounds. Mm. Seriously, I mean you can buy you, for about seventy pound. I was seeing them last year at B and Q. The base models were about the same amount of money. Um, I think they're cool they did that. I don't know how well this one's gone. I think these were overpriced and they just had to drop the price of them. But oh, yeah. So yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. We'll see how this mower gets on. We've literally just cut the, lower, the mower. We've just mowed the grass with the old mower. Um, so we'll see how well this one gets on. I mean, the other one worked really well. Um, for a fly mill. It was nice and light as well. Most people these days. Um, I wouldn't rec would I recommend this for a large garden? Well a lot of people don't want grass these days, that's a thing, and people aren't willing to cut it. Yeah. So uh thanks for watching. We enjoy cutting the grass and maintaining our lawns just like we do in the house with the rugs. And uh yeah, so bye. Yeah.